But let's dive into the essential features that make Apple Notes the most amazing tool for organizing your thoughts, daily tasks, and ideas. Here's a viewing tip. Use the list of chapters to jump back and forth to the sections that you need to review. And you can pause and replay if needed. So let's get started. Here is my home screen. As you can see, I can access my notes by pressing the widget on my home screen. I can also access notes through the app library. Apple Notes is your digital notebook and it's always available. It's a great app. You can jot quick notes, which is something that may be more transitory. You might not need it after today. Uh, something that you quickly need to jot down so you don't forget when you get somewhere. To access a quick note, just slide your finger from the top down with the newer phones and find the icon for quick note and press it. And then you can just write a quick note and you'll press save. What about if you don't have quick note in your control center? Here's how you fix that. Open up settings, go to control center. This is where you see included controls on top and a whole menu of controls you can add. We're going to just go down to Quick Note and press the green plus. And then Quick Note is added to the included controls. So when you access the control center, it's right there. I use Apple Notes uh, to keep track of personal things and work things. But the key to using Apple Notes and being having it be a successful tool for you is organization. If you don't spend the time to organize uh, notes, then you're going to have a more difficult time keeping track of everything. So if your brain is like mine, where you're all over the place, Apple Notes is a great way to develop a structure to keep track of all your ideas. Creating a note is as easy as tapping new note button. Just type away and your thoughts are instantly captured. Want to emphasize something in your notes? You can easily make text bold, italic, or underlined for clarity and organization. Here's how to do that. I can now format it by pressing one of these icons. I'm gonna press the text icon. And you see I have a choice. I can make it a title, a heading, a subheading, body type, or monostyled. I'm gonna keep it as a heading. And I can have it in bold, italic, I can underline it. And if this is more like a checklist, uh, once I do something, I can cross it out like that. So all of these features are there available right in the notes. In addition, you can have a bulleted list, you can have a dashed list, you can have a numbered list, and you can use these for formatting your paragraphs later. Stay on top of your tasks with checklists. This is perfect for grocery lists, to-do lists, or anything else you need to remember. Once an item is completed, tap the circle. It will show completed items at the bottom of your list. In notes, you are not limited to typing text. You can add photos right from your camera roll or even sketch a quick drawing right within your note. Here's how you add a photo to your notes. Press on new note, press on the camera icon, take photo or video or choose photo or video. I'm gonna choose a photo. There we go, I'm gonna press add, and there it is, my photos and my note. Sketch a note, press new note, press the pencil icon right here, choose a tool, choose a color, and you can sketch with your Apple Pencil or your finger, and there's my note, I press done. Here's how you can scan documents into notes. Press the, the new note icon to scan a receipt. I'm gonna press the camera. I'm gonna press scan documents. Hold my phone right over the receipt and then it'll automatically scan it. I'll press save and my receipt will turn up right here. I can give it a name by pressing rename. Type that in, press save. Take your organization to the next level with tags, folders, and smart folders. I have hundreds of notes and without this organizational system, I would be lost trying to find anything. You can organize your notes into folders, which is pretty typical, uh, and you can just create the folders as you need. For example, work folder, personal folder, books I wanna read folder, whatever it is you need. 
you can have a folder called recreation. And inside your recreation folder, you can have a folder called schedules. You can have a folder called classes, whatever it is that works inside the other folder. This keeps your main screen for notes much cleaner. Here's how you create a folder and put it inside another folder. I want to move the folder called recipes into another folder. What I'll do is I'll do a long press and slide it up to the folder I want it in and let go. And there it is now. The recipes folder is inside areas. Now, if I want to move it again, maybe I want it to be in my home section, I can move it over to here to home and let go. And now the folder is inside there. Now, if I want to move it out, uh, I can long press it, press move, and then I can choose another place to move it. Maybe I want to move it back where I was. And now going back to all on my iPhone, you see it's right back here where I started. And that's how you move a folder into another folder. You can organize your notes with tags. Tags are a great way to organize your notes by keywords, even when the notes are in different folders. You can easily find a note that you wrote by tagging it. For example, if I want to collect recipes in a folder called recipes, but I only want to see recipes that have to do with maybe side dishes or vegetarian, I can use the hashtag or the pound symbol or the number sign, uh, depending on what generation you're in, and you can type hashtag vegetarian. Now I want to show you how you can search your tags. I'm going to go into my recipes folder and here I want to search my vegetarian recipes. So I'm going to search vegetarian and all the recipes that I've collected that have the tag vegetarian. You can see the word vegetarian is in yellow. Those are all tagged vegetarian. To add a tag in a note, type the number sign, pound sign, hashtag symbol, followed by the tag name. The text will change color to show a tag has been added as soon as you press the enter. Tag names need to be one continuous word. However, you can use a hyphen or an underscore that does make your tag longer, but it does become more specific. You can add multiple tags to a note and any tag you create is automatically added to the tags browser under your list of folders. View your notes with tags. When you create a tag, you can find it in the note itself and in the tags browser, which is below your list of folders. To see a list of notes with a specific tag or multiple tags, go to the tags browser, tap a tag or all tags. If you tap one tag, you see a list of notes with that specific tag. Smart folders filter out your tagged notes. Your notes remain in the folder they are originally in. However, you can see your notes across multiple folders or even notes that are not in a folder. Need to share your notes with others? I share my shopping list with my family members. I'll type out things on my shopping list, but I want everyone to have access to that list so whoever is at the store can see what we need. Here's how you do that. Select a note, tap the share sheet, and choose a contact to share the note with. Easy peasy. Apple Notes includes a few accessibility features, including voice dictation. This allows you to take a note hands-free. I use it all the time, but here's a caveat. Always check what Siri thinks you said. Usually you'll find a few, if not funny, definite errors. Here's how you do that. Select the microphone. Once it is on, dictate your note. Remember, check your note for correctness before pressing save. With iCloud enabled, your notes will sync across all Apple devices so that you can access a note no matter where you are and no matter what device you have. In fact, if you have no device and you need to see a note, you can just log on to iCloud with your Apple ID, open up your notes and see them quickly. Your notes are secure with Face ID and Touch ID. Press the three dots, press lock. You'll see the lock icon on the top of your screen. Clicking on that will lock it. Now the note is locked. When you want to view it, just press view note and I have face ID enabled, so it will open right up. If you want to take a lock away, press on the three dots and press remove and the lock is gone. And there you have it. With Apple Notes, staying productive and organizing is easy peasy. Thanks for watching.
Please click the like button below if you got something out of my video and subscribe so you'll know when my new videos come out. I'm Karen, founder of Techie Tutor, and I make videos to help seniors and others new to the iPhone make the best use of their technology. Head on over to my channel page linked above to see more videos where you can also have access to my digital downloads.